What's up, folks? This is Omar Hosea. The real. Say la. Uh, to give y'all a shift so much of the day, that's solid. Uh, we're just doing some posting today. Wanna have made some tea, you know, for me, you know. My sweetheart, you know, talk to my bro, right? And he was telling me about all these things concerning uh, things that are wicked in the heart, things that are in the heart and the desires, and how friends of so many years let a female manipulate their friendship. And then the female who's been friends to these people for so many years, she let them manipulate that their each other's friendship. And so in this circle, there's a circle of manipulation from the heart. And so when you take that little circle between these three people and add three more, that's six, there's many groups like that. And so you add many groups like grapes on the vine tree, uh, you say, wow, that fruit's pretty bitter. I might not want to eat that. Matter of fact, it ain't even got enough value as a lemon. You know, at least the lemon, with its bitterness, has a, 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 good, a decent taste to it. But this doesn't. And so, in these groups or clusters of grapes and attitudes and selfish desires and egos and stuff like that, there's a word in there called L-O-B-E. And that means living over various emotions. Love. I repeat. Love means Living over various emotions. Think about that. Okay, America, I reloaded with my pomegranate tea. It's a holy fruit. So, now that I live over various emotions like you, first I have to be aware of its attachments and what it does. So, these people, you two, and I used to be guilty. That's why I'm shit with you. That's how I know because I was guilty of it. So I had to purge myself from that. I can't tell you if I haven't done it. That's the rules. Don't tell me nothing if you haven't conquered it. Don't speak to no book, no church, no nothing. If you haven't conquered it, don't tell me. If you haven't investigated it, don't talk. No. Now, these people have this uh, lifestyle over various emotions, or living over various emotions, love, L-O-V-E. And uh, these people love all this commotion, and they reward themselves with jewelry, fancy words, and they entice people to come in that. And then... Throughout all these emotions and these very very variables, right? And they stand over you uh, in this false love because now there's a price tag. Because now they say, well, if you don't dress this way, if you don't own this, if you can't buy that, if you don't have the newest this, uh, and if you ain't shooting sparks out your butt or pulling a rabbit out your butt, you're not really important. And so for the love of humans, it's pure. But the love is impure for the money. Uh, they said that the love of money is the root of all evil. Yes. Not the, not the, the, money is not the root of all evil. No. 
It's your love for that money that makes it evil because you'll hurt me, you'll hurt your kids, you'll lie to your parents, you'll break rules and laws and God's commands, and you create false holidays and false ideologies and false religions and traditions just so you can be uh, glorified. And so, we have to look at that, where we put our love at, with this money. Like this is the key. It ain't, doing, it, it ain't doing nothing for me. But I love tea, right? So, I love tea that I've uh, put in the cup. I stirred it with some sugar. There my tea bags in there. And because I love to drink tea. Here we go. My tea is not evil. My cup is not evil. And right now I'm not evil because my mind doesn't have a greater value for tea than I have to tell you the truth. My love don't have a greater value than uh, your heart or the truth. That's why I share these things with y'all guys every day, all day, all the time. And so, if I love an inanimate object, like this cup, or this phone, or money, I am the lower. I am a beast. I am an animal. I am a lower state. I am not in Christ. I am not in God. I am not in myself. I am not in love. I am not in fatherhood. I am not in brotherhood. I am not in cousinhood. I am in nothing. I am in the cup. Or I am in love with the money. I'm not in love with you. I'm not in love with the art and the skill that got me that money. See, there's a process. Wake up. Leave out the house. Go to work. Then you get paid. Then after you get paid, then here come all the other false hopes and love. Because the idea says, or the ego says, or the selfish says, I work for this, and so you're no good on how you get what you got or what you don't have. But here's the sad thing about that, consumer, is that if you don't work for yourself, then you're never going to win. You're paying somebody else's taxes. You're paying somebody else's child to go to school. You're paying for somebody else's luxury. You're putting the rich in power. And you're electing these people who put you, your kids, your friends, and your love in slavery. And then Cypher, like a crack fiend, all your gifts, just so you can go to work, not knowing that God gave you a gift that you can market yourself. And you don't have to pay taxes unless you're going to use Rome's money. The Bible says, give Rome with Rome's, or give Caesar with Caesar's, and give God with God's. So if you have a God-given talent, then give God your talent and create you something and glorify the Most High. But you can't do that if you're working for Caesar. Because Caesar don't know God. There's a, a great abyss between there. The, the, the abyss is great. If you look at two space or two time zones, you say Caesar's world and God's world. You can't serve them both. Because God is the creator of, of them both. He owns them both. But free will says that you have a choice. Caesar, money, love Caesar and his money and his ideas and his religion, or love the most high. And his statutes, his precepts, his judgments, and his commandments. That's a small order compared to all the law work and law books and all these these things that put common people in jail for no reason. You're, you're making it harder for yourself. 
So your love is the evil that gives money any root to hurt thy own self, thy own country, thy own family, thy own friends. And it gives your power, it gives your enemies power over you and your household. Not only that, whatever you rooted your love in, if it's not in seeking the kingdom of the Most High, if it's not rooted in being Christ-like, if it's not being rooted in Muhammad-like, Enoch-like, Moses-like, Prophet-like, Messenger-like, you are the greatest and the best of the worst losers. In the Quran, the Bible, the Gita, the uh, universal scriptures, ancient texts all say that is hell bound. Period. And you don't need nobody to judge you. Your own deeds will judge you. Matter of fact, love will judge you first. Because when he takes the heart out and he puts it on a scale, and the Father's going to ask the heart, heart, why have you not desired me? And the heart's going to say, it's going to say, oh, my fair creator, the most wonderful, the most beloved, who has given me my shape and given me life. 